Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play LSD Dream Emulator. It's been a while since I've played the game, but this isn't exactly the type of game where I feel like you need to, you know, play it consistently to remember everything because there's not that much to really remember and oh, sorry about that. You probably saw my mouse cursor there, but now it should be gone. Alright, let's just go ahead and start. I'm recording in a bit of an unconventional setting, to say the least, so my voice might sound a bit different, and some other things might be- oh my god. And right away we're just starting out with faces everywhere. I don't, that's so weird how- whoa. That's creepy. It's weird how everything's just faces and mouths now. Like, things have definitely gotten messed up. And some of these faces are really creepy- oh! And a freaking pterodactyl thing. That music. I'm gonna turn it up a bit. Yeah, the, the audio balancing might be a, dif a bit different because right now, well, ooh. While I'm recording this, I'm on spring break, actually. So I'm at my parents' house and I kind of had to cobble a bunch of stuff together to be able to record, because I mean, I do have my computer, but I didn't bother bringing like my TV or anything, so it took some time and effort to get everything set up correctly. And right now I'm using a TV dinner table as a table for my controller and everything, which isn't very useful. Although, one thing I just bought, which is really nice, is I bought a little like Bluetooth uh, USB thing for my computer, so now I can actually play this game wirelessly, which is pretty nice, so I don't have to worry about having Being within my little range of the cord So that's nice Although it seems like your the battery drains really quickly compared to like normally, so it's not really that useful All right Anyways, oh my god, that's a lot of blue <laughs> Oh, I didn't even notice. We're out in the, like, prairie or whatever. Oh, look at that wood. Oh, that's really trippy. It's all, like... I don't even know. <laughs> Alright, more seizure water. Yeah, this is definitely different. Like, it's, it feels different than any other, like, setting we've been in, really. I mean, it has been like a week since I've played, but still, everything looks very unique. Yeah, I'm not sure how long I'm gonna play this game for. I guess it's just until I'm bored. I suppose I might play until, what, 50 days, 100 days? I don't really know. <laughs> I did actually see, there's this one guy, this wasn't the guy who actually introduced me to the game. I might as well just say his name, Mike Mnemonic is his name, and he actually did a, a stream of the game where he tried to get to day 365. I didn't watch the whole thing just because, well, that would be a lot of this game to watch, but he, because he, there's apparently something that's supposed to happen when you get to 365, because, you know, that's a year, and apparently all that happens is the day counter resets, and I think you might get, like, a special, a special cutscene, but, yeah, it's definitely not worth it. Uh, so weird. It's so weird how we've like we've stayed in like those three vertical bands or whatever. It's kind of strange. Huh. Whoa. Whoa. Jeez. Look at all these mouths. Or is that a mouth even? I don't even know what that is. Weird. Everything's purple too. Oh man. Whoa, there's a shit ton of peacocks. I know we've seen one peacock here before, but we've not seen three. Oh man, this is gonna hurt. <laughs> That's kind of painful to watch. I mean, it's psychedelic, but with this resolution and texture quality, it's a bit messed up. Oh my god, look at all, is that a, what is that? I don't even know, that looks like a nose or something, I don't, I don't even know. Oh, 
this music is creepy too. Ooh, I like this music. It's kind of like the, uh, what is it called? Oh, I can't remember. There's this one scale, I guess they'd call it, where it's just like a, it's, it's something that's like the same tone, but it sounds like it's dropping in tone or something like that. I'm not quite sure what it's called, but I wish I remembered. I remember learning about it in music appreciation. It's kind of like a, a musical quality, or it's like a song, I guess you could call it, where it's like the same tone or something. I can't remember exactly, but it sounds like it's, en like it endlessly sounds like it's dropping in its tone or something like that. I don't even know. That's what this song sounds like now. Everything looks pretty normal this time around. I mean, as normal as you can get. What is that fish doing? It just like floated up over the water for a second. <laughs> I have to say, one of the worst things... Oh, is it over? No, it just teleported me. Huh. I wonder what causes it to do it some do that sometimes. Oh, we're in the city. We got some freaking disco floor going on here. <laughs> Actually, it literally does look like a disco ball. Like, the material a disco ball is made of, but that's the floor. Oh, we got this lady again. It's kind of funny how even, like, the Meridian or whatever has a special texture just for it. Oh, don't lose your head, oh no. Yeah, I don't know if we had that one happen before. I know I've seen it before, but it's been a while since I've played, so I'm not, I can't recall if we saw that. <laughs> Back here again. Yeah, as you can see, unfortunately, the more you play the game, kind of the boringer it gets. That's not a word, the more boring, there we go. I mean, everything still looks really like, what the hell is this? I don't think we've seen that before. Every, there's still a lot of messed up stuff to see, but after a while, stuff just gets kind of boring. Because there's only so much there is to offer. I'd love if there was, and I, I think I mentioned this before, there was like an attempt at a remake of this game. Or there's like a little fan project going on, but I don't think it really went anywhere. But I'd love to see them like remake this game and have it like be almost exactly the same just slightly higher like resolutions and just be able to run the game well no yeah be, be able to run the game in a higher resolution for one and some better looking textures as well and i guess some slightly like more i don't know fluid looking models and everything but in a way i feel like the really messed up jagged models kind of make this game a little bit in a way like they're just it kind of just makes the mood a bit more but yeah they'd be really interesting if they kept almost everything the same, but just updated the graphics more or less. Or it'd be really cool if they added more locations that had a similar feel or something like that. That would make this game really cool. Or it would just be a really cool thing to see. Aw, oh, damn it. I saw him too. I just like didn't care to stop until I realized it was too late. Alright. Didn't bother stopping until... Then. What the hell? <laughs> Was that really necessary? I think there's something that sometimes appears out in the water. Like, I know we've seen, yeah, there's always that police boat. But I think there's a weird occurrence that happens sometimes. Sorry. <laughs> that was probably really, really loud. Sorry. I think, yeah, right now I'm using a TV dinner table to, to put my mic on, so it's not the stablest of things. Especially considering it's a really old, crappy TV dinner table. Whoa. Whoa. Huh. <laughs> okay, then. Don't think we've seen that before. I guess I'll run to the car. Oh, never mind. It's not physical. Can we jump off the pier? No, the pier is considered a physical, or I guess the edge of the pier is an is a physical object. You'd think we could just jump, but no. What is that noise? I know I've heard that noise before. I think maybe it's something we'll see on the roof. 
I mean, I can't can't hear it anymore, so maybe not. I have to say, oftentimes exploring this house is whoops. It's quite boring. And more empty bird gauges, yada yada. Whoa. Her head looks different. Holy shit, you see that? Her head looks all like oh it's a skull. That's creepy. I think I saw that like on one of the earlier days, I saw like a flash that I thought was a skull, but I, I kind of thought it might have just been a graphical glitch, but no, that was definitely like a skull there. Oh, that's creepy. Yeah, I'm guessing that's supposed to be like the girl that this story is based off of, like their, her house or maybe something like that. I don't know, because it's kind of it's kind of got like a out of body experience aspect to it where you like see yourself in your own body oh and we're done and yet again we're just i i keep expecting something to be a static or dynamic but we've just had uppers or downers nothing really static or dynamic which is weird if anything i thought that i'd have some static dreams but apparently not according to the game some more weird music Honestly, I shouldn't even commentate on it anymore because it's, it's all weird. We're out here again. I remember seeing this texture. I wonder what it's... I think it might... I think it's supposed to, like... Make it look like we're in, like, a wasteland or something. Like, everything's done. Exploded. Yeah, I wonder whether all those, like, seams that we always see in the textures... I wonder if that's a result of the emulator or if the game is just kind of shitty looking like that. It's hard to tell with these old PlayStation 1 games. What's... What is that? Oh, I remember seeing this thing once. A little, like, flower blooming. Maybe we just, like, fall backwards. Huh. Yeah, it does seem like there's some things that if you even see it, it'll transport you somewhere. Oh god, there we go. No, thank you. Let's go through here. I don't think we've really gone through any of the doors in this like Wonderland area. At least not often. Yeah, this one just leads to the forest again. Although it looks more normal. I mean, as normal as these places can look. Whoa. What is that? Oh, it's those stupid birds. They make like train track sounds or something, it's weird. Yeah, like it sounds like a, a metro train. I think I've said that before. It's weird. What's that? That's just a big ass tree. I don't think we've been over here really before. I mean, we've definitely not been on this. Oh, damn it. Oh, I'm wondering if there was something secret I could have found. Yeah, because I know I've never been on like those cliff edges like that before. Day 42. Oh, and some Japanese text. I'm sure there's probably translations for this online. I should really, like, look them up just because I'm curious what they say. Although I have to say, it seems like they appear and disappear so quickly that even, like, a, a fluent Japanese reader or whatever, I feel like it'd be hard even for someone who really knows the language to read it that quickly because it really... Oh, and another one! It's weird. I've never had it happen twice in a row, I don't think. We're just zipping right by. It's probably something trippy. It's probably like the flowers are brown and the trees are green and my life is purple. And I don't know. Probably, I, I wouldn't be surprised if it's just some like shitty poem <laughs> or some purposely confusing poem or something like that. I can hear that sound again. It's kind of funny how it seems like this house is more often than not completely normal looking. Like you start in it so often and most of the time it looks pretty normal. Like a lot of the other areas they're just messed up as hell straight from the get-go but areas like this for whatever reason 
or for whatever reason this house is always pretty typical looking i mean there were a few times i know where we've seen like a shit ton of eyes and shit but a shit ton of eyes and shit yes great great speaking right there but we've seen a bunch of eyes and all that before Let's go over here. I don't think I really explored the plains as much as I could. Whoa. I don't think I've seen that before. Let's go in here. We've probably been in, in the location that this leads to, but I don't think I've seen that from the outside before. Or if I have, I just ran straight forward with... Whoa. It just spawns us right behind this chick. <laughs> Man, these creepy girls have been spawning here so much. It's so weird. Yeah, I honestly feel like no matter how many times you play this game, you can never really see everything the game has to offer, I feel. I mean, I suppose if you went into the game's, like, assets and everything, you could probably find all the textures... And to some extent, oh, the, I think the stupid sand, or sand, shadow man was underneath the pier, so I just couldn't see him. But yeah, it's almost, it seems like no matter how many times you play this game, you can't really see everything. And, okay, yeah, yeah, I was trying to say, if you went into, like, the game's assets, you could probably piece together all the different things that you could see, but... Oh, there's that guy again. Kicking some corpse. <laughs> oh. And that turns everything red. We're out at the end of the pier, I guess. Buy some tree. Seems like, I think this is one of the few trees that are in the entire area. Because all the trees here seem to be messed up usually. I know some guy. Oh, it's gone. <laughs> Well then, I was going to say, I know some guy shot us out of one of those ones, but the car's just gone. Pretty interesting if we would go up on, like, the highway or something, but no, don't think that's possible. You know what's crazy, though, is how there's some old games like this where they've got, like, certain... And it seems like something that's really almost exclusive to older games like this is there's oftentimes like entire maps that are just like hidden in the code or just weird areas within areas that you can go in that just aren't acts like they're not possibly accessible through the normal game. Oh. Jesus. Everything's messed up. Oh. It's got like TV static on the walls. And the music, if you can hear it, it's really messed up. I'm kinda scared for what I'm gonna see at the top of here. Heh, <laughs> just a regular moon. Heh, <laughs> it's funny. Nothing else. Huh. That's the first one that's like outside of two blocks away from the center. That's funny. Apparently that was really static. I don't know what makes it static, but okay then. You know what I'm going to try this dream? I'm just going to try to run into everything. Because usually I try to sort of explore. Whoa. This music though. It's like someone playing one of the musical scales, but with squeaky toys. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to try to run into as many, thing many things as I can and see if that affects whether it's like a static or a dynamic or whatever. Because I've noticed that's the one thing I don't do. So maybe the reason why is just because, because I'm exploring the areas so much, it sort of just... 
does whatever. Exposed to a lot weirder of music. <laughs> this music. Oh god. The music is getting weirder and weirder. That's what. That's one of the reasons I'm not talking. Is I just want to listen to the weirdness. episode here unfortunately so thank you all for watching and goodbye